We normally start with like an opening yeah. tip and some fun video, but today we have some amazing breaking news. Sorry. According to Mark <laughs> Stein from the New York Times, you are not going to harsh me, harsh my buzz here. The league has decided to televise the NBA All-Star yeah. Draft Live starting this yeah. season. Who, who wanted, who was the outspoken calling hmm. for that? You may remember last year was the first time the NBA used a playground style draft to create the All-Star teams. Now, the captain, Steph and LeBron, they did it confidentially on a phone call. What you're seeing now is just later they joined EJ and the Inside the NBA crew for a recap. And at the time, the league said they didn't want to make the draft order public for fear of embarrassing any of the players. Who cares about your Philly? <laughs> Which is a considerate instinct. But let's be real. As you can hear my friend Tracy McGrady say, these are all star players making millions of dollars. They're good. And if you want an example of just how this could work, Take a look at what the NHL has done in the past when they've had a similar style format. They did the draft in person, and they said ahead of time, whoever was picked last would win a car as consolation. So you actually had players in the moment <laughs> campaigning to be picked last, which was awesome. I, I, I don't know. Do I <laughs> sound like this is something I've been thinking about for a while? Like maybe, I don't know. We mounted a whole campaign for this This made last her year. weak. I may have mentioned it once or twice on the show last season. We here at the jump are begging you, televise the draft. All right, we're lobbying, <laughs> we're lobbying. It's not too late. You should televise the draft, I'm just saying. Because they're not televising the draft. You can Who change cares? this NBA, you can still change it and make this all-star draft public. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had actually already worked up a brand new campaign poster for this season, but the league and the PA have heard us. It is going to be incredible, and the players seem to agree. Here's LeBron from this morning. Uh, me and Steph, we had a, I mean, we had a great time drafting. Um, you know, on the phone, picking one another. It was fancy basketball for us, and um, you know, it was fun. Is televising it even a, a, a better dynamic, a bad dynamic? How do you... What's bad about it? It's I guess all weekend, we got 24 of the best players in the world. It's gonna make the team. It doesn't matter if you're first or last. You're 24 of the best in the world at that point in time. So, you know, I don't think it'd be bad. Uh, it all depends who are who, who the captains. Um, I think obviously you have certain personalities that uh, can add to it, uh, but it all depends how much the captain's going to get into it as far as the draft goes. So, I, mean, I did it last year, so I'm glad I don't have to do it again. It's a little loud in there. I don't know if you last. heard him say, I did it last year. I'm glad I don't have to do it again. And I understand where LeBron got that last part from. The NBA does have a rule that a coach cannot coach the All-Star game two years in a row. Even if his team is the best in the conference, someone else gets another shot. But I spoke to the league office this morning. I've been told <laughs> there is currently no rule like that about players. So LeBron could indeed He's be the one picking campaign. teams again. <laughs> but will he? The two captains who get to draft are the two top vote getters from each conference. Take a look at how the voting went last year. Now remember, LeBron has of course moved to the West. So hmm, look at the totals there. He still would have beat Steph if this had been last year, but with the way Steph is playing this year, votes who get split. votes in the Western Conference? Is Giannis the no-brainer for the East? We'll have to see. Absolutely. Tracy McGrady, how do you think this is gonna go? This is the only thing, two things that I'm concerned, well, not concerned about, but really the drama don't wreck my day this year's, do not wreck my day draft that i'm interested in seeing that is is lebron gonna represent the west and curry uh represent the west which one of these guys is going to be the highest vote getter because both of them can't do it now because they're in the same conference and who's going to be the last guy picked that's the only thing i'm worried about <laughs> i don't care who gets drafted first third i don't care i care about who's going to represent the west that's the drama and who's going to be the last guy? Would pick? your feelings be, as a player, would your feelings be hurt if you were the last guy? Absolutely, because I know I won't, wouldn't be. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I these, think Al Horford was the last guy last we year. We talk about we talk he about in, in, in this league like the Maybe average salary is eight million dollars. Yeah. Think about the average salary of these 24 players. Come on now. I mean, really? <laughs> Having said that, you don't want to be picked last. So you know, if there was a year at the end of your career where you got in at the end, you know, I wouldn't be picked last. 
Uh, here's the thing, Woj knows who gets picked Just anyway. Saying. Well, that's what I was going to say, is this all got leaked at the end. It got yes. leaked in bits and pieces, but it, it all got leaked last year anyway. Might as well do it in front of everyone. Maybe throw an automobile in there or something like that. And then, prize. And then it'll be fine. But how do you think the West and East are going to go? Because, again, once those two captains are picked, they can draft from either conference. There's a pool of 24 All-Stars picked. Those do go by conference because the guys who own the teams want to make sure that there's equal sides represented so they can say, we have an all star but once that pool is picked the guys can draft from anywhere but the captains are east and west so let's get so this how right do you say for, this is for gonna go? uh, viewers is that these guys are not picking the 20 the 24 these guys are not that picking the 22 players right. I should yeah. say so the, the starters are being selected as normal not the starters. so the the first five guys are being the selected first five guys by the, the top vote getters, yeah, by the vote getters are being selected yep. and then the, the reserves are um, picked by the by coaches, the coaches so. and then they go to a pool and, and these two captains pick in this pool but what we just all want to see is you know the actual moment where LeBron has to decide about whether he's gonna pick certain guys I guess you know won't be Kevin Love this year because he's probably not gonna make the all-star team <laughs> but I kind of would love to see Kawhi I mean I know it's probably not gonna happen wouldn't well, it be amazing if Kawhi got the leading vote getter how uncomfortable would Kawhi be in that I situation mean, look, Kevin Durant, he would hate it Kevin Durant made it clear last year that it's that he it's not his preference to get up there and be the captain and have to pick guys and I think you heard LeBron allude to that when he said certain guys first you just heard him speak a few minutes ago certain guys personalities are better you know for this forum than others which is natural but, you know, he who, and Steph were perfect for it last let year. me tell you who we shall be rooting for in the East Joel Embiid. Oh my gosh. Of course he's I, he, be because an all -star. no, I know. No, but I mean to, to be the leading vote. To be vote the lead vote getter. Oh. And this is he interesting, comment, by the way. He would commentate on every single. Well, pick. that's an interesting element. Now that everybody knows that whoever gets the most votes in the East is the captain and is going to draft. Does that mean that now Joel Embiid will pick up some votes because people? America, just want him I would to highly recommend. So here, so here's my 